Once again, we're on the Apples and Art Studio Tour with some of our artists. And uh, just to remind everyone, this is a special year because it's the 25th anniversary of the tour. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Bob Taylor. So Bob, thank you for joining me and being interviewed for our tour. Thank you. Um, what I'm really delighted to show people today is the diversity of your work. And mm -hmm. I wonder if you might just share with the audience a little bit about what these three pieces, and, and this one, which is a little further back, I can hold up a little bit more into the light. But uh, uh, why don't you start with the top one and, and tell us a bit more about um, the medium and, uh, and what your, how you created the painting. Okay. Um, this, one, this one is oil. Uh, on canvas, um, I I start I start I start at the top. I start with the sky. Uh, in this case, in this case, um, I do the sky, and then and then I decide I decide in my in my mind what I'm what I'm going to do. I don't always know um, uh, what the uh, what the end result is going to be. Um, so I put in the mountains, and then. Um, Way back, um, uh, you can see you can see some trees, and the uh, and the and the the brain starts to think. Oh, okay, there's going to be it's going to be some water down here, so it's probably um, probably flowing down from the mountain, and uh, then as we get as we get to the foreground, there's some rocks, and I put in a couple of of uh, uh, really big trees up front. Mm -hmm. And um, to sit back, sit back, look at it, and I make any final adjustments. Uh, this one I did about uh, two weeks ago, actually. And I like the way that you've chosen the the trees, kind of really to to frame the mountain. To frame it, yeah. So what I find interesting, though, you didn't copy this from a picture. This came right out of your 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 from your imagination or your experience of what you've seen in the past. Uh, to be truthful. It, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's taken it's taken from a Kevin Hill um, art lesson. I'm still I'm still learning um, um, oils. Um, I have a long a long way to go, but I'm I'm happy with what I'm seeing uh, for myself for now. Mm -hmm. um, um, I actually actually started started off doing watercolors, um, and um, then then I discovered. Uh, computer art, uh, otherwise otherwise known as digital art. Mm -hmm. This is one. This is one that I did. Uh, this is this is done. Uh, the image is uh, uh, created uh, on the computer. Um, uh, I use a computer uh, art program, uh, but I still I still um, um, decide exactly what's going to go on where, what colors. Form, style, everything is mine. Okay, uh, this was this was then um, uh, uh, it was blown up and printed onto heavy photo stock and framed. Mm -hmm. So it, it's another 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 form of art. Some people may not be comfortable uh, 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 with it yet. Uh, if it's not if it's not a brush, then it's not art to some people. Yeah. But to me, it's, a, it's right. another form. It's still art, and thank you for it's raising that, because I, I think that for our audience, they don't really, you know, no, uh, mm -hmm. people who are, are not artists themselves don't recognize the diversity of art. Correct. Now, you also have a nice little piece here, which I believe right. is done in acrylic. Yes, it is. Now, this has a, a bigger story to it. Would you be able to share that? Sure. This one, this one actually is only done, only done in the one color. It's monochrome. And the only color is purple mm -hmm. in there, and uh, and various degrees of the. Uh, so that gets translated into yeah, this. The cover that gets translated into this, um, which is the cover of a of a book of uh, twenty two short stories for children mm -hmm. that I've written, uh, and it's available in, um, I think, just about uh, every form of um, e reader that you can that you can find. Great. Uh, well, that's it's on Kindle. It's, mm -hmm. And it is interesting to notice that you know how, how it changes a little bit. Yeah. Um, sometimes also I have learned that the mm -hmm. translation of color from uh, canvas to printed media changes a bit. But yeah. I find that the, the this one is feels a bit more ethereal to me, like it mm -hmm. um, 
and uh, so a lovely representation uh, of the uh, of the picture. Thank you. Yeah. So you're a multifaceted fellow, I see. Um, I work at it. Yeah. I I'm, I I I'd like to I like to uh, explore. Um, I like to do things. Sometimes I'll just I'll just start with a blank canvas, um, and I'm I'm doing just just form and style and colors and and I'll see where where it takes me. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know um, it's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's it's a it's it's a great uh, a stress reliever usually. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, occasionally no. Until you have a fight with the canvas. Until, right? I, until <laughs> I have a fight with the canvas, or I dip my arm in the paint, or something. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, and I think that's what um, we're gaining from speaking with artists mm -hmm. is that uh, that there's really no accidents either in art. That there's really you know just pull mm -hmm. out a canvas, and I think that. Uh, sometimes our viewers might have the image that you take a picture and then you, yeah. you, you know, and then you paint it on the canvas, but that's not what we're learning. We're finding that most people um, paint more from their heart from, than from their head. Would that be an accurate statement for you? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, head is, the head is in there for sure, uh, but sometimes things look a little different as you, uh, as you, get, as you get, uh, get into the, uh, into the painting. And you change your mind, and uh, I've I've done that I've done that several times, and uh, uh, you can't see you can't see it, but there's one in the back there called uh, Flying Burba, which is which is a fish, mm -hmm. and uh, that painting started out as something completely different. I wasn't happy with it, and I did a couple of quick strokes and I, I saw something I liked and I went from there. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun thing about art is mm -hmm. you can do that. Yes. Yeah, and, and just so. create the movement yeah. or whatever is Absolutely. appealing to you at the time. Yeah. Well this has been a, a great opportunity to get to know you Bob yeah. and to also see your art and, and again just to notice the different types like acrylic and again um, I've noticed that acrylic, um, when I hold it up to oil, tends to be a little bit flatter. Oil mm -hmm. seems to have a much more natural sheen because of the oil in it. Um, a very different process. And then I'm thrilled that you shared with us your digital art. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, also, I see, I definitely see that as art, another form of creativity. Mm -hmm. And I, I really encourage you to celebrate that. Great. Well, thank you very much. Well, so thank you again. So this is Bob Taylor, everyone. And, oh, Bob, where are you going to be on the tour? We didn't mention that. I'm going to be um, um, at the mill in Martintown. So at one of the other additional sites yeah. for the 25th annual tour for Appleson Art. So thank you very much. Thank you.